Okay, so welcome back. Now, one of the things I've actually been wondering about, um, and I haven't actually done it yet, but I've always wondered, what happens if I actually do interact with this water? Um, the advantage with this piece of water here is that it's not that serious. So let's have a go. The answer is nothing actually happens. That's pretty cool, there's little gaps in here as well. If I break this block, something will probably happen. Let's do it. Well, not that much. Not actually that much. Mm, let's replace it with an alloy furnace. Uh, it might be difficult to replace it now. Let's I'll put another one in. Uh, about put a chest in front, maybe. All right, now I do have a problem. <laughs> oh shit! Well, I suppose there is one way to to get rid of that. Hmm. Let's do a little sort of basin type thing for it. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Anyway, the focus of this episode today is going to be there's that marble area. Is that when you go down here? Um, because obviously I'm, I'm going to want to um, do diagonal stuff as well. When you go down here, though, there's this area, right? This thing right here. And out of everything in this whole area, um, which one is it, actually? Yeah, it is this one. Yeah, this is, this is kind of like the problem area. It's the corner where everything... Hmm... But you can see on this block here, this block is com this chunk is completely disconnected. It is literally like, you know, there's been a lot of damage in this chunk. See, there's lots of problems here. So I don't really actually want this chunk at all here anymore. Um, and I may even get to the point where I just want to. I mean, quite how I'd manage. Yeah, there are quite a few loose chunks around here. You see here, this is where the sort of the back wall is. If you if you want to, you know, it's not the best way to put it, but so there's a lot of chunks missing here. There's a lot of chunks missing, and I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with this. It certainly is an issue. Um, but regardless of what I do with it. I kind of fancy just taking out this chunk here. So let's do that. And the way I'm going to do that is obviously I'm going to use a quarry. And I'll be using very, quite a few different quarries, I suppose. Um, and I believe actually maybe I can use a vulcanite amulet for this. This might be a, a good usage of it here. When you've got a lot of water, this is actually a good way maybe that I will in the future. Um, Hmm. Well, that's one way to do it, I guess, isn't it? Yeah, you can just create loads of lava. I think you can walk on it as well. Can you walk on it? 
you know, you sort of walk on it. Hmm. Well, whatever. Let's um, cover it up now. Um, <laughs> I suspect he's wood. I don't think so. Um, let's get some stone out. Alright. So I think there actually is a better way to extract it. I'll probably look through that in another episode. Um, but yeah, so what I'm going to do is just get a platform here. Um, and I want to basically just get rid of this whole chunk. So let's just try and clear this lava as best as I can. Uh, yeah, they're doing the right job here. Get rid of some of the main offenders here. I'll just I'll just do this. Yeah, it's only I mean it's only a, a chunk, so was that two hundred and fifty six blocks here on the surface layer. Alright. Okay, so I, I basically what I want to do is um One thing, try and just get rid of. This. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, a lot of this surface lava it doesn't really matter because lava gets destroyed anyway when we do the quarry. So I'd like to just get it out of the way of the corners. That's probably the main aim, isn't it? I guess. Where is the corner here? Hmm. Anytime you want to fall lava, anytime. Alright, so I'll make that the corner, I guess. Oh, shit. Ah, oh, I couldn't get out. That sucks. Alright. I guess one of the advantages though of this world is that I kind of know where everything is. I'm going to have to do a portal system, I think. It's a bit too long going like this all the time. Anytime you want to appear. Alright. Yeah. It's actually much, much better to um to run down that platform. But anyway, let's just do that. No oh, yeah, and it's actually depending on the light level when then stuff actually appears. Oh well. So let's get back to where we were and try not to die this time. Here it is. Looking quite messy. Looking quite messy. I don't really like it looking like that. I want to 
and just try and get it to drop. Okay. That is going to drop now. So why is that staying up? What is that I guess you connected to? I mean that just looks like a floating block of lava with no, no connection. No, it just doesn't want to drop for some reason. Should drop now there. It's connected to nothing. Oh. Is that really it? There must be something else in there. Come on, man. Lava mechanics always been weird to me. Water, I could just about understand. Lava there. I mean, come on, what is this doing? Look at the shape of it. I mean, come on. That one's no, nah, it still doesn't it's still not dropping enough. There must be something underneath. Man. You see there's another one which is just staying up for no fucking reason. What is this weird platform down here? Alright. Anyway, I don't really care. To be honest, once this whole thing is destroyed by the quarry, there's no way that lava can stay. Alright, so I'm going to start it um, a little bit higher. right about here. Um, so let's get my landmarks out. Oh yeah, I guess I need oh, I need my bloody um, jetpack back. And of course they're not charged, so I need my crystal. Energy crystal even. And an MFE. Let's just get rid of these starting blocks. Okay. No, it doesn't. No, it's the wrong fucking time. Yeah, I've done that as well now. Well, at the end of the day, it's going to be a bit of a mess. You can't really do much about that. All right. I could even actually just start storing them or have an ender chest or something. I've been thinking about different ways to store things. I could do a lot of different ender chests with different colours. Or I could also um, organise items either by the type of item, like a metal or precious item, um, or an industrial craft or a mod item. Or I could also store items via the uh, the number of ingredients that item requires. Um, uh, number of ingredients that item requires, basically. Um, so, which band is it? Mm. Yeah, I've got to be careful now. Let's put on some quantum armor as well. At least that stuff is fully charged straight away. Um. 
All right, so yeah, let's get my landmarks out anyway. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put the um, uh, what angle do I want this on? All right, I'm gonna put some of the uh, stuff on the, the next island along. You see, some of this is quite cool though to have it like this. This 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 particular point is not cool though. Really, can I place that on there? Hmm. Oh well. All right. I just want this whole fucking thing gone. If I'm being honest. Um. Shit, I may as well just use a more powerful one. All right. So I'm going to activate it from here, and hopefully it should be all right. Put hover mode back on, but I've forgotten already what it is. What is hover mode? M possibly. I think it's M or G. I'm pretty sure it is one of those two. There it is. Come on. That looks pretty much bang on to me. All right. So what I wanted to do here, um, let's just get rid of some of this shit. Get some red matter tools out. It just it just makes shit a lot fucking easier. <laughs> yeah, that's what I wanted to do. Well, it doesn't matter anyway. Alright, so let's get... Oh, this is all tilled soil now, straight away. That's why I can't place anything on it, because it's not the same. It's like fucking Podzol. <laughs> Alright, so what I wanted to do is... Look at tanks. So let's look at tanks. In fact, I might just spend a little bit of time looking at some recipes. Let's see why not. Rain tank. So that's just eight pieces of glass. Um, and obviously you need oil. I do it. There is actually an oil source. Um, um, if you watched uh, that last episode where I was doing the obsidian creation stuff, um, there's an oil source right there. Um, I want to get this in. Seed oil, oil. Yeah, I'm not sure if you can actually power combustion using a seed oil. You might be able to. Um, oil buckets. There's different ways to get the oil out. And then with water. You don't, you don't have an oil bottle. That doesn't exist. You can definitely put things through waterproof pipes. Um... And all, it's all really just about powering this quarry here. Um, what was the recipe for a quarry? Let's check that one out again. Lots of gears, basically. So lots of irons, lots of diamond, lots of gold. Diamond pick. 
yeah the, the recipe for that is diamond gold iron stone wood nice recipe but also quite a simple one that it really uh probably shouldn't have too much trouble remembering that let's get our quarry out Uh, no. All right, let's do that again then. I get the feeling it probably didn't work because I was trying to because I did it through yeah I know why it didn't work actually you never do it like that you always have to do it the first one you put down the two have to be in a direct line from that first one if that's not the case it simply won't work that's something I learned quite a while ago all right so what well, still not Is that still not going to work then? Come on, quarry. Fuck off. It's because of this bloody lava. I need to get rid of it. Okay. Let's have another go. One, two, three. No, no, that's on the wrong level now. Let's just do it at a lower level anyway. Just so there can be no no mistakes. I've done it wrong again there. But still, I wonder if it's going to do anything differently this time. It could also be that there's um, too many blocks in the way here. Yeah, it does not like that. Now it's a bit happier. But it still probably won't work. Let's try again. Mm -hmm. Oh no, it did this time. Oh, that's cool then. That's funny how it just does that. It just puts it wherever the fuck it wants, doesn't it? That's the funny thing about it. You don't even need to put landmarks down. I don't know how that means. It just sets it right in the middle, doesn't it? <clears throat> All right. So obviously, let's look at combustion engines. You know, I just like to look at these recipes, and I may as well, in seeing as the sort of format I'm doing with this series of being just very kind of, I don't know, just doing whatever, really. Um, combustion engine. Yeah. So iron gears, pistons. Can I remember a piston? Let's try three wood on top, four... Cool stone on the side, two either side. Um, redstone in the middle, iron in the bottom middle. No, iron in the middle. All right. I'll get it one of these days. I'll get it one of these days. Iron in the middle for a piston. All right. So basically, all they all need is they need water. So let's assume that the redstone signal is taken care of. In fact, let's just take care of it. How can I take care of it? Well, let's try a different way of doing things. Let's use red oil alloy wire. Can red oil alloy wire take care of it though? 
Probably, probably not, to be honest. So if we get, yeah, I'm just going to delete it actually anyway afterwards, so it doesn't matter. If we get the oil and the water, obviously I'm going to be using the tanks for everything, but I just want, I just want to, you know, just mess around. So if we've got a ready to go thing here. So this, if this wire gets decent signal, can I make it go around here? I might be able to. Yeah. So get a lever out. Yeah, that's fine. So even alongside it is fine. This is what I don't get. It's actually running. This is going to blow up in a minute. Yeah, I need to turn it off right now. I actually have a feeling, because that, that's already gone down, I have a feeling that actually it's going to... Huh. Is it worth getting it to blow up? I think it is. Because I want to see what happens. Come on, are you working a minute ago? There we go. It's going very, very slowly. But how is this how is this draining? Is this really draining or is this literally just gonna blow up in a minute? I think this is gonna blow up. Yeah, fuck it. I'm just gonna wait for the blow up. I don't really care. Um, it shouldn't be that hard to reset it, however badly it blows up, even though I might die. Yeah, this is not draining that much, so this has got nothing in it. Yeah, that is dependent on that. Hmm. If I actually put that at the right level there, I think I have. Look at this. Some of these blocks are outside. I don't want them there. No, even the red power shears are not good enough to do anything really. Well, we'll see if it blows up anyway. So what I wanted to do is have to basically have tanks. So let's think about the tanks. Tanks are obviously just pieces of glass, so I'm not going to go out of my way to make those. Um, so the way it would work, I guess, is you're going to have the stone pipes. Um, yeah, so I'll probably try various different configurations of how I'm going to do these things. Um, just want to look at different different ways here. The stone pipes, I imagine, would be like that. And then what I would want to do... The stone pipes would be like that. Then the cobblestone pipes... Cobblestone pipes, I'll just do underneath. So like that, so that way they can get water as well. But the idea is that you only want one entrance, because that way the distribution is even. So that can be like that. Then what I could do is put on a panel, maybe, and I'll just say, dirt panel. No. A 
dirt cover. And I'll talk about this in Red Power. Because the advantage of this is that what I could do possibly... Can I put one right there? No, I can't actually put one there. I could put something like there. So there's no way I can actually get one right. That would be ideal to get one there, but I can't really. But I might be able to do something here. Yeah, and of course I could actually just use actual dirt. That is farmland now. Hmm. This is still not blown up. Why is this not blowing up? It's because it's running so slowly. It must be something like that. And there's a panel there. I don't know what that piece of dirt is doing there. Oh well. Yeah, actually, this is a complete waste of panels here. Is that still? I still got a fucking panel on it. But anyway, this is kind of beside the point at this stage. This panel, for instance, though, that wasn't actually a flat panel there. That still looked like it was above it. Yeah, that looks like it's above it, which I don't really want. That's interesting, isn't it? You can do this sort of thing. Hmm. But anyway. But yeah, this is a good this is a good setup though. I'm just gonna get rid of these panels for now because they're kind of annoying. So we've got the uh, cobblestone and the stone transport pipe. And the question is, um well it's not really it's not really it's not really a huge problem, is it, I guess? I mean, how would I really... Ah, yeah, this is a, this is a bit of a problem here. Because all the stuff's just coming out of the quarry. <laughs> I should, probably should have considered that before. Let me just put a chest down very briefly. <laughs> A locked chest. I don't think I ever really even understood quite what that was. All right. Well, that will keep it going for a bit. That's why I think if I figure out what I'm doing here. Mm, that's gone down. These have just not gone up. I'm waiting for them to blow up. I'm waiting for those to blow up. Is this just going to hollow out the inside? I think it is, you know. That was a mistake, if that's the case. Still. Still kind of... I don't know. We'll see anyway. So, yeah. Um, point is, where are the tanks going to go? Because these both have got to come out the same way, basically. So they're both going to be like this. I mean, it just makes sense just to do it like that, really, doesn't it? I need to have this one. Yeah, I guess so. Let's have a look see how this works, then. And I've used the wrong fucking pipe because these are not liquid pipes. Brilliant. Oh well. I just wanted to get this set. I wanted to get it to look properly. So wood and waterproof. Yep. Cobblestone and stone. 
Oh, all right, let's use these pipes. I haven't even used these pipes yet. Um, not well. I'm sure I have actually, but not not for a while, I guess. All right. So this is the cobblestone one. So it's going to go like that, like that, and then we've got the stone one down here. All right. I thought water was going through it, but no. It's, that's probably the only time that's ever happened where I thought that. All right. All right. Now to put to get water into these things, how would I do it? You know what? I'm going to be here for a while, I think. So I'm going to make sure that these don't explode because why not? There's no real point them exploding because it's just going to, you know, it's not going to be a good thing. <laughs> there's no, there's no situation where them exploding is going to be positive. It's not doing anything at the moment though. Is it? Yeah, it is. Oh, well. Whatever. Now, in the case of getting oil over, I'm not going to worry about it too much um, because I'll be doing more with that when I actually do the oil because there's things like, you know, like the refinery and stuff like this, which can convert oil into fuel. Um, and there are different... Uh... Is there anything... Or do you just use the pipe? You just use the pump for it, don't you? There's two pumps. I'm going to have to review some of my earlier... There's three pumps, in fact. Oh, we'll look to the red power pump there, I don't think. I'm going to have to review these. I reviewed... I remember earlier, a long time ago, um, I reviewed all these things. But yeah. Let's just, you know... I mean, there are only... Luckily, at this stage, there, there were only quite a limited amount. Hmm... How do you pump it out there? Maybe I do need to use a pump actually. I'm trying to remember how it even works. I might not be able to remember. Can I just do it? All right, let's do the cool. Nah, actually, I'm not going to do the cool one. I'm tempted to do the cool one, but I'm not going to because it won't. It won't actually work, sadly. I think I have to do it like that at this stage. Uh... All right, let's just get these down here. Oh yeah, oh, two are needed. So what do I do? I think I put the pump on top of it. I think that is how you do it. Mm. Yeah, I do need to review my old stuff, man. I was fortunate I really did spend a lot of time doing this stuff. Yeah, I can just put it anywhere, I guess. Put it there. Maybe I use that for the oil. That doesn't look right. Ugh. We'll know in about two seconds. No, nah, it's not that one. What does the other one do then? 
could also be a case it's not deep enough. Let's get the other pump. This looks like red pump. Uh, Put the red power one in. Hmm, which one is it in? I can't even remember. I don't even recall seeing this animation before, you know. How did how how was life before the aqueous accumulator? Alright, not that one. Yeah, red power never gonna work. Oh, I forget about this. I'm gonna have to do this another time when I've actually remembered how it all works. Let's just ramp it up. Oh, and no, I've already got this stuff. Sixteen. It's sixteen per tank. I didn't even realise that. All right. And now I can I can just go. I'm just going to try and, and max out the quarry. Get as fast as I can. All right. Is redstone engine? That'd be stupid if it wasn't enough. Wouldn't really make much sense if it wasn't enough to power it. All right. <laughs> I love the way it fills up. It's pretty cool. The obsidian that I had. This chest might even be big enough. Never know. I'll just put another one on top. See, one of the things is, is that even though there's items that you can get rid of all this stuff, 
I can also just get rid of everything like this. See, you can only, there's only a few source blocks about. Where are the rest of them? Find the source blocks, it's always a fun game. So I don't understand why that. That's not like a source block. It looks doesn't look. I mean, that looks like a source block. 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 That was definitely a source block. That one. Yeah, we're doing good. That was a good one. Beautiful. That's just it's so nice to watch that. Um, yeah, so one of the problems with what's going on here is this is not actually mining out this this edge. I mean, come and seriously, this thing. How much more lava am I supposed to... The funny thing is, this is all going to stay here as well. What the fuck is going even going on here? It's making this thing hollow. That might not necessarily be a bad idea, to be, um, because I have had good ideas um, about this sort of thing before. Um, about having a hollow tower like this, so it might not necessarily be a bad thing. If you think about it, it's a tower already custom made just by hollowing it out. But yeah, I'm not going to pretend that, that was actually what I intended there. But regardless, it is still yeah, it's still how it is. And these are all going pretty well. Um, Hmm. I'm happy with three of them though. Three of them's fine. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to skip ahead to when this quarry is a bit more done. All right. Well, that's not much of a skip, but um, wow, it gets through the water fast, doesn't it? I guess when it's operating at peak efficiency, it would be like that. Um. a bit more this is a lot easier to do it like this than to have to keep on refilling each individual engine at least sun's going down mm. let's just do that so what was i going to say um hmm. copper Yeah, I haven't done lasers for a while. Redstone tube. Mm. 
I don't want to do the red power stuff again. I haven't done red power for ages. I want to get back into it. That's one advantage of having it. Even, and even though the, the version of red power you get here is only pre-release. I can't remember if this actually needs a redstone signal. Hmm. Pretty does though. What's going on there? That's not connecting at all that. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get back into red power. Not today though. It's not a red power episode anyway. <clears throat> So yeah, all it green. I guess I did do some red power stuff here. Hmm. You know what? I think I might just end the episode because I'm not really sure what else I can do apart from wait for the quarry to finish. Uh, I want to do stuff off with nuclear power. Uh, stuff like that. Maybe I'll do um, a nuclear power episode. But yeah, I think I'm going to stick with this quadrant, just try and do some fun stuff here. Uh. Mm. I wonder what stuff is even around here. There's not many diamonds around. I've got to admit though, the cool patterns that it's made by just cutting off the chunks like this. That's pretty cool. Because one of the things that happened with uh, Feed the Beast, as it got later episodes, the, a lot of the, uh, the cave generation got a lot worse. And there's basically hardly any caves and just minerals and ores everywhere. Because there's so many ores spawned, it basically meant that there wasn't as much actual cave. It's a nice marble cave here, though. Hmm. And this is going to be I don't know, I could just put put some so you've got a choice of glass here do you get the reinforced stuff here? yeah why didn't glass why didn't reinforced glass come up here? it's not good Hmm. What about emerald? That looks quite nice. It's pretty cool. That's the thing, I could just fill it in and that way it will certainly have a natural look to it if I do it like this. I think that's what I'll do. I'll just fill in all the gaps. Yeah, because really when else am I probably going to want to do this? Yeah, it doesn't even matter if you make a mistake, really. Hmm. 
Mm. So anytime I see a gap here, just fill it in. Now, hmm. What level was this on then? Fifty five, still quite a ways to go. Maybe I can just fill it in here. Yeah, and I should really make it look the same from both sides. Hmm. It looks pretty cool when you have loads of them in a row, actually. Let me try that. I don't think it even lets you do that. I just deleted the whole lot. What's going to happen here? Not much. So yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm just going to end the episode here. So till next time, thanks for watching.